Welcome to Easton Junior High School. I'm Christine DiVirgilio, and I'm standing beside an easel with photographs of Stonehouse Hill House, which is now called Donahue Hall at Stonehill College. It was one of the original Ames mansions, uh, built by Frederick, Frederick Lothrop Ames. Behind me are some students from Easton Junior High School, 7th, 8th, and 9th graders. And they are members of a, an art group that has just been formed called the Stonehill Group. They meet on Tuesdays or Thursdays. This is our Thursday group that we have here today. And I'm going to, around, going, going to go around and talk to the individual students that have chosen to come here and draw this building as part of a special, special project that we are doing and ask them some questions about themselves. We'll start right over here. Okay, would you tell me your name? I'm not familiar with this student. She's not in one of my art classes. Um, I'm Kathy Van Zant. Kathy, what grade are you in? Seventh. You're in seventh grade. Which view of Stonehouse Hill House did you decide to draw? Um, the uh, back. Uh, it's a piece of the back. A piece of the back view. Do you know what do you know what material you would like to do your final picture in? Um, I have a little bit of an idea. I'm going to put pencil down and then I might color it in with either watercolors or uh, colored pencils. I see. Do you think the building is difficult to draw so far? Um, I don't really know. It's uh, kind of hard sometimes to get some of the uh, 3D, the 3D look to it, but uh, other times it's not. So I'd say not real hard. Not real hard. That's very good. Uh, do you do art outside of school? Do you think you might go into it as a career, or is it just a hobby for you? It's just a hobby. I have other ideas for career. So. I see. Is anyone else in your family interested in art? Um, my sister sometimes draws a little bit, but not. I don't think as much as I am. Okay, so you're pretty unique in your family. I guess you could say that. <laughs> okay. Well, best of luck in this contest. I have two students here, one of whom I know and the other I don't. This, this young lady is Alicia Mason Guile. Uh, Alicia, would you tell everyone what grade you're in, please? Eighth. In eighth grade. Which view of the house did you decide to draw? Um, I'm not sure yet, but I might do the side. Are you doing different sketches to try out the different views that you've picked to narrow it down? Yeah, pretty much. Do you know what material you're going to make your final picture in? Charcoal. Charcoal, okay, that's a unique one. Very smudgy. Um, how about the, re the rest of your family? Is anyone else interested in art besides yourself? Yeah, both my parents are. Mm -hmm. do, you think, um, do you think that the building is difficult to cope with, the uh, three-dimensional aspects of it, or is it pretty easy for you? Um, it's not too bad. I'm not, I don't usually draw buildings, but it's pretty easy. Do you think you might go into art as a career or just a hobby for you? Um, I might go into a career. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Well, it's pretty early in your career, so we'll see. Okay. Now, this young lady is someone who's not in the regular art program, so we need an introduction from her. You are? Um, Kim Heckman. Okay. All right. Why don't you turn your chair a little bit so everyone can see you. Kim, what grade are you in? Eighth. Eighth grade. Which view did you decide to do? On um, the front. Okay. This is, a, this is a lovely view. It's an old-fashioned view of the building. Uh, we're working from photographs, and this is a particularly nice view. Uh, we have some landscaping on this picture, which is not there anymore, landscaping around the front door. And I think that would look particularly nice in your picture. Uh, you've just started. Do you think the picture is difficult to draw? Um, yeah, I think some of the details are hard. Were you familiar with this building before you started the contest? No. The so back. this is completely new to you? Yes. Okay. Have you ever drawn buildings before? No. Oh, very good. Uh, is anyone else in your family besides yourself interested in art? Um, my mother went into commercial art she did. in college. What made you do this contest? I know you're not in the regular art program because you have other commitments. What made you decide to come down here? Um, I don't know. I like to draw. <laughs> you, like, you like to draw, so you thought you'd fit a little bit of that into your life? Yes. Yeah. Do you think you might consider art as a career someday or just a hobby? Um, I was thinking about a career. I'm not really sure, though. So it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Okay, best of luck with this contest. Here we have Kate Bejeri. Kate, would you tell everyone what grade you're in, please? I'm in ninth grade. 
Ni ninth grade. And what view have you decided to draw of the building? I chose the back view. Okay, the back view. Now you've just really gotten started on that. Do you think it's a difficult building to draw? Yeah. I do. Yeah. Were you familiar with the building before you started this contest, or is it brand new to you? I don't think I was familiar. I thought I saw it before, but I don't think I did. Do you think you might go down to Stonehill and see the building firsthand? Um, maybe, but I don't know. So. Not sure. Yeah. Well, how about future plans? Do you think you might consider art as a career or just a hobby? Just a hobby. Just a hobby. Well, that's perfectly wonderful and legitimate. How about the rest of your family? Is anyone else interested in art? Just my sister your sister who's at OA. Uh, well, how about materials? I know you're starting with a pencil drawing right here. Do you know what you're going to finish it off in? Watercolor, pastel? I was going to do watercolor. Okay, watercolor. All right, good luck on the contest. This is Pat McLaughlin. And Pat, would you tell everyone what grade you're in, please? Eighth. You're in eighth grade, and I know you're in art because you were here just a couple of hours ago. Now, what view have you chosen to draw of the building? I chose to do the side view. You've chosen to do the, do the side view. Now, do you think the building is difficult, complicated to draw? Not really. Not really. Well, that's a good attitude. What material are you going to make your final picture in? Maybe colored pencil. Colored pencil. Maybe. Any other thoughts? Maybe just pencil. Maybe just pencil shading. Yeah. Had you been familiar with the Stone House Hill House before you entered the contest, or is this really a new building to you? No, I was familiar with it before. Okay, so you've been around Stone Hill College and you've yeah. seen it. Uh, is anyone else in your family interested in art besides you? No, just me. Just you. You're unique. Yeah. Uh, all your pictures go up on the wall at home? No. No? No. Nah. Um, how about future plans? Do you think you might use art as a career or just a hobby? I might use it as a career. I'm not Maybe? sure. Okay. Well, best of luck on the contest. This is Brian Field, and I don't know Brian, so I'm going to ask him what grade he's in. Seventh. You're in seventh grade. Now, you've started a great sketch right here. How did you, would you tell everyone what view of the building you chose? The right uh, side view. Very, very good. Okay, you've started with a beautiful sketch. Do you have any idea what material you're going to make your final project in? Maybe pastel or watercolors. Okay, I know you spoke to me before and you hadn't decided yet and you sounded like you really had some, some uh, sketches to make and that you'd make them very well. Is anyone else in your family interested in art? Um, many aunts and uncles and my mother. Your mother? Your mother's interested in art. Wonderful. So you have art at home. Now, have you been down to Stonehill College and seen the building firsthand? No. You haven't. Well, I hope you get down this some way so that you can see the real building. Do you think it's difficult to draw? No. It's an easy picture to draw. Okay, that's great. Uh, what made you decide to enter the contest? I like to draw. Well, seventh graders at our school don't have the opportunity to take art, so I'm really glad that you were able to fit this project in to get a little bit of art into your day. Do you have any plans to go into art as a career or just as a hobby? I don't know yet. Maybe a hobby. Maybe, maybe a hobby. Maybe a career. Who knows? Well, I wish you the best of luck on the contest. Thank you very much. And um, we uh, will have other students on Tuesday who aren't here today, and I'm sorry that we can't interview them, but I think we have a very good group getting started with a project. And um, I welcome you again to Easton Junior High School, and thank you very much. I'd like to say that our Stone, Stone House Hill House uh, Stone Hill Group Art Contest is sponsored by the gen through the generosity of Dr. Robert and Mrs. Mezowitz. Thank you very much. Until next time. We're back to look at the artwork of one of the students who's working on her picture of Stonehouse Hill House. It's come a long way since the last time we looked at it, and um, we want to take a look at it and see how she's doing. This is Kathy Van Zant over here. Kathy, about how far have you gotten on your picture? About halfway through, a quarter of the way through? I'd say about halfway. How are you doing? Do you think it's difficult to do? Not really. No? It's easy for you? Yeah. It looks like you have a lot of detail in there. Have you been down to see the actual building yet? No, I haven't gotten around to that yet. Oh, you haven't gotten around to it. Now tell me, I know you've come diligently after school several times to work on this picture, and you've been working hard. Have you worked on it at home at all? 
Um, I was going to, but I just didn't get the chance to. So I see. Well, you've done quite a bit right in school. Now, I don't recall what you said you were going to make your, your final copy. Are you going to stick with pencil or add color or what? Um, well, I was going to add color, but I think I'm just going to stick with pencil. Okay, so far so good. Uh, just as a ballpark figure, how many hours of work do you suppose you spend on this on this masterpiece? Um, two hours, four hours? Maybe two and a half to three. Two and a half to three. Well, you have quite a bit of detail in there. Uh, how do you feel about it? Do you think you're doing a good job? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think so too. I'd hate to have you say no. All right, very best of luck. Excellent. Okay, we're going to take a look at Mark Sherman's uh, beginning. He's just getting started, so he doesn't have much in his paper yet. Okay, Mark, tell us what view you chose of Stone House Hill House. Um, I guess I chose the back corner. Okay, the back corner. It looks like there's a porch on there. Have, have you been down to see the actual building? Not recently, but I've seen it before. You've, oh, you've seen it before. Okay. Um, did you choose this view for any particular reason, or did you just like the photo? I uh, just like the photo. Okay. Now, tell me, do you think that you might go into art as a career or just as a hobby? Um, I hope a career. Oh, wonderful. Is anyone else in your family interested in art? Uh, no. No? No. No. Okay, just you. You're the unique one in the family. Mm -hmm. Do you think that um, you're going to stick with pencil or add color, watercolor, charcoal, or what to this? Probably pencil. Just pencil? Sh pencil shading? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, very best of luck on your efforts. You don't have um, a lot of time left, a couple more weeks, so you're going to have to work hard. Are you going to work on this at home at all? I, a little. A little bit? Okay. Very best of luck. Okay. Uh, we're going to continue working on Stonehouse Hill House for a few more weeks and hopefully we'll get some spectacular results. What I've seen so far is a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, and a lot of detail in the picture. So I'm looking forward to seeing and matting the final results for an exhibit. Until next time, Ryan. Hello. Hello. Uh, it looks like you decided to do your picture all in pencil, or am I wrong? Are you going to continue and finish it in pencil? I think so, yes. Okay. Did you find any particular part of that drawing difficult to do? The side um, brick that um, has a 3D um, figure to it. I see. Um, how about interesting? What's the most interesting part of that building to you, of, the, of what you decided, the view you decided on? I don't know. I just picked it. Okay. You don't really know yet. Well, it looks like you have a ways to go yet. Um, are you pretty satisfied with what you've done so far? I think it looks wonderful. Yes, I think so. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, keep up the good work. Kathy, doesn't this look wonderful? Are you pretty happy with this? Yeah, I am. And what are you doing to finish it up? I'm just doing some more uh, shading uh, to uh, kind of finish the picture. Excellent. Now, what would you say is the hardest part of this drawing. What did you find the most difficult to do? Probably making um, places look 3D. Mm -hmm. For instance, the columns, the, the columns. Uh, any particular part of that? Was any particular part of it, would you pick out as being more interesting than the rest? Um, I kind of like drawing the trees. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the more natural forms. Are you pretty, you're pretty satisfied with it. You're going to finish it by tomorrow? Um, I'll probably be done with it in the next couple of minutes. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, let's take a look at what Alicia has. Alicia, you look like you're almost done. Um, yeah, pretty much. What have you got left to do? Well, I have to blur the sides mm -hmm. since it's like a dream. Alicia picked charcoal. She's the only one that picked charcoal to finish her drawing in. And um, when I look at that, I see, like you say, a very dreamlike look. Is that what you're aiming for? Yeah, it's going to be like all blurred on the side with pastel, so it looks like it's in a dream. Are you going to put any color in that or just stick with charcoal sticks? Just the pastels and the blur. I see. Are you pretty happy with what you've done? Yeah, pretty much. What would you say would be the most, was the most difficult part of your picture? Um, probably drawing the columns and shading them right. Shading and drawing the columns. 
Okay, well, very best of luck to everyone. I think the ones we have here are wonderful, and all of the other drawings that I've seen in the course of this contest are excellent, and it's going to be mighty difficult for the judges to pick the winners. Stonehill Group announces the winners of the Stonehouse Hill House Art Contest, students from grades 7 to 9 at Easton Junior High School, Principal Aubrey Conrad, Art Department Coordinator Judy Yankopoulos, sponsored by Dr. Robert F. and Mrs. Carol J. Mizowitz. The contest was run by Christine DiVirgilio and Jean F. Churchill, judges Mary Bodio, Kenneth R. Jackson, and Christine Reynolds. First place, Mark Sherman. A complex offering. Scale, accuracy of image and warmth have been woven into the fabric of this drawing. One is simultaneously at ease with the woof of reality and the warp of imagination. All are here encouraged to pen an interpretive text. Second place, Patrick McLaughlin. A captivation of a haunting melody. The staff of the roof line provides a melodious tune to be varied by the bass section of trumpeting chimneys. The bass provides a soothing symphony of horizontal and vertical planes, while the fire escape, as a musical scale, reminds of the presence of functionalism in beauty. Third place, Brian Field, a passive monument. The presentation is comforting and ethereal. The wash of the walls, with but a rare flick of brick, provides an uncluttered and soothing continuum. The effective manipulation of shading provides a broad hint of the interior of the structure of this great house. Honorable mention, Catherine Bejeri. A daring adventure. A blithe spirit dances with the difficult medium of watercolor. A bold and anatomically correct image of the queen who reigns from her hilltop throne, a brilliant splash of color. Award for stately presentation, Mandy Stone, the comfort of familiarity. Hearts are gladdened with the familiar. This is Stonehouse Hill House as recognized by many. Ably pictured is that house, which is Georgian by design, with central block and balanced wings, a joy to behold. Award for Illustrative Presentation, Kim Heckman. An Artistic Invitation. The ample and clean foreground invite and encourage a comfortable and leisurely movement toward the gossamer-like mansion. With the invitation to approach are coupled the compelling feelings of mystery and anticipation. Do I dare? Award for Technical Merit, Andrew Eaton. An extremely clear and precise imaging, a Kodak-like delivery. The exactness of the art of the mason provides a firmness which gives to the flutes of the columns the responsibilities for lightness and grace. The hints of the palladium reliefs above the French doors provide a whim of femininity, gentleness. Award for distinctive presentation, Catherine Van Zant. A unique menu. A taste of the most familiar side of the house and a taste of a functional wing. A pleasing cacophony of horizontal and slanting lines boldly in contrast to the strong and compelling vertical lines of the Corinthian columns. Award for originality of design. Alicia Mason-Guild. 
a very pleasant presentation of a lesser room embraced within the arms of its parent, an interpretation which invites the viewer to become a part of the drawing. A family ghost prompts conversation.